Hi guys, Candida here, back to share with you a custom journal I just finished for a lovely lady. Um, she wanted something that was um, in tans and creams, so that's what I did. She gave me a few options, but I chose the tans and creams because she had listed it twice, so I figured she really liked that color combination. Um, she wanted something that was... Um, highlighted the joy of grandchildren but she also listed about her dog and her husband and her spirituality and so I wanted to, and that she loves music and um, uh, a sewing so I wanted to incorporate try and incorporate as much of that as I could so that's what I did um, we have this beautiful um, paper that on the front here I did some corner um, paper corners and I edged it all with some cream paint and I added this plate on here and then this little uh, sticker that says love and grow so I did um, kind of go with like a more of a family theme not just for not just grandchildren but uh, so she could kind of document anything that was regarding her family I added lace over the, um, well this is Oreo, one of my kitty cats. Um, I added lace over the spine so that um, it kind of covered the binding, but you can still see the binding a little bit. And then this is my other kitty cat, Lady Grey. I don't know if she popped into view or not. She jumped, just jumped up here. Um, and then on the, I also added this fun tassel. It's a vintage tassel, so it has a little bit of staining on it. Some of the eyelash trim. And then I made this cute little charm that has a tree on it for like a family, like a family um, tree that you would, she can put in here all information about all her family. So her for her grandchildren to be able to know the history of their family. Um, and then I put a little music charm on here since she likes music. This pretty little gold flourish since I added a little bit of gold on the front and this beautiful little bangle this, um, of, with crystals that used to be a earring and I turned into a charm. And then a, some cream ribbon and a little bit of tan ribbon here as well. So, and then on the back, I added this sticker that had a beautiful dog on it with a, holding a little plaque so she could put this book belongs to in her name or um, write whatever it is she wants to write on the back of the book here. So on the inside, I did go more into the sewing theme by adding this vintage um, measuring tape along the spot, the edge edging here of the book. I put this beautiful quote that says collect beautiful moments because that's what time with family is, is beautiful moments. And then I have this fun paper that has these little plaques all over it. And I thought it would be fun for her to either write down all of the family members or just her grandchildren in it or whatever she wants. She can, you know, keep adding because there's plenty of bubbles. So if she has more grandchildren, she can add more. And it's on both the front and the back. So there's plenty of room to add a lot of family names. I put this cute home is where the heart is sticker on the front of this first signature. There's five signatures plus a little pocket signature. Um, I have a lot of little journaling spots some vintage game cards, scorecards in here in this little pocket. A little tag where she can write on it to label this section if she wants to. And some coffee dyed paper, some tan paper, some of the architectural paper. This even um, has a little bit of writing on it as well. I just now noticed that. <laughs> some ledger paper, some music sheet paper, some lined paper that's been coffee dyed, and another coffee dyed piece of paper. And then I have these fun little clips in here that say family on them. And I clipped in some of this vintage cards from the Scrabble game and they 
throughout here it spells out the word family here's more of the same papers in the center of the signatures I put more of those music charms so that to dangle on them since she likes music and I thought they looked really cute dangling collect beautiful moments again I liked that one so I added it in here twice <laughs> It's from the Tim Holtz collection. Um, the I can't think of what it's called, which collection it is, but it's one of his sticker collections. And then I added the this trim, this tan trim, and um, I did sew on it, but it's glued into the book. I sewed just on the trim itself, so you get a little bit of sewing in here as well with the strings dangling and then in the second signature I added this little tuck spot and I did put some sewing uh, directions on it so there's a little bit more of the sewing theme and then I added one of these um, so she could journal on the inside but again just more sewing stuff just a little touch of sewing and then this says grandma's country kitchen on it so more of the family stuff there and then on this side I have this fun um, vintage index card and I love it came in a spiral bound book and I just I kept this part because I just thought it adds interest and I love it a little tag and another little tag more coffee dyed paper, some more of the tan paper, the ledger paper, the architectural paper, the music sheet paper, and then in this signature I added a paper bag and I put on here a quote that says grandkids bring joy to every day and this has lots of room to hold either pictures or ephemera from you know her grandkids recitals that kind of thing and then on the back side there's room for a picture with a sticker that says I love you to bits more of the same papers each of the signatures have the same papers they all have the little dangles with the music um, charms on them here's the M for family here's the other side of the bag and I use some packaging to make a photo mat so she can stick a photo on top of here and then more room in the bag this one got glued a little bit and then on the back side is a little tuck spot and I put the this little old piece of paper from a book and put hugs and kisses or the same papers and on this one I put a cream ribbon or trim I guess you should say that I sewed on and have the dangles tangling and then I glued it on and then this is a vintage paper like it uh, I think it probably would have been like uh, a backing to a picture frame uh, cabinet card that came apart but it just it was so beautiful I had to use it and I glued on some blue and cream lace family definition here this cute little tab and then on the inside I have a lot of journaling cards that are the cutoffs from the papers I used and in signature three some more the same here I just added in uh, this fun the uh, furniture tag that's vintage as well she's got a few vintage things in here and I added this so she could label this sec this uh, signature as well if she would like. More of the same pages. I'll just flip through them real quick. I added some cute little flourishes here, uh, here and there throughout the book with some cheesecloth. Just lightly decorated the book so that she can decorate this up herself as she sees fit and fill it up. There's lots of room for this book to grow. Um, here's the tan, another tan one with the strings hanging off. Here's some more sewing ephemera that she can write on. And a little postcard ephemera. And then some more of the tags and the index card. 
Um, I had a sticker that said Generations on it, so I added that on here with a little bit of cheesecloth because um, she's going to be using this for her grandchildren and, and her family, and I just thought it was appropriate. And then on this one, I put Grandchildren are blessing, a blessing from above. And again, more room and spot for a picture here. And then this sticker says, Always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder. So I put some inspirational type quotes in here. What I thought was inspirational. I hope that she will too. Again, another pocket photo mat here and pocket there. And then I put on this page spot a sticker that says family photographs. More of the same papers. I really hope she enjoys this. It was fun making. It was inspiring to use all the things that she um, was given me. And she can label here to work with. I, I really enjoy working with custom work because it I love to create for others. It brings me great joy to do that and have them enjoy and love what I make for them. That's what I do for my friends and family and I, I love that I get to do that for others now as well through my Etsy shop. A little heart with some cheesecloth there, another trim sewed that's glued on and then a, some more of that measuring tape. It's a fabric measuring tape on the back and that's the end of this book. I ho really hope that it's enjoyed and loved and um, if you guys want a custom journal I'd be happy to make one for you. I have a couple different listings on my Etsy shop that are for custom journals depending on what kind of a journal you want and I hope that you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!